All right, so good day everyone. In line with your next laboratory, which is uh, the electrical circuits, now we are going to discuss what uh, are the basics about the electrical circuits and its applications, okay? So for electrical circuits, we have uh, what we call, no, the terminologies, the first one is the circuit. So what is a circuit? A circuit is or is any path along which electrons can flow. Electrons will only flow if the circuit is complete with no gaps. Okay, so open circuits are broken and do not allow the flow of electrons, where closed circuits are complete and allow the flow of electrons. So in the next page, or slide, we can see the difference between a closed circuit and an open circuit. So in an open circuit, which is, uh, as you can see here in this slide, well, it's kind of it's like kind of dangerous because the uh, electricity flows right here and then open shaft. You no, know? so if you happen to get in contact with uh, an open circuit, no, not delicado siya. Okay, so let's talk about what electricity is. Now, an electricity is typically defined as having a voltage and a current rating. Voltage is obviously or obviously rated in volts. Okay, volts and uh, current is rated in amps. So these are the things that you need to remember. See, volts is, as uh, voltage is in volts. Okay, and current is in apps, in which uh, current in uh, physics is, the symbol is I. Okay, so for instance, a brand new battery, which is 9 volts, would have a voltage of 9V and a current of around 500 milliamps. Okay, so MA is milliamps, A is ampere, or amps, or ampere. Okay, so most basic electronic circuits use the DC electricity as such, all further discussion on electricity will revolve around DC electricity only, okay? So we will only uh, deal with the DC electricity. But let us know, you know what a current is and what is the AC current and the DC, sorry, an alternating current, which is AC, and the direct current, which is DC. So current is actually the flow of an electronic charge or the flow of electrons. Now, current flows through a circuit when a voltage is placed across two points of a conductor. So with direct current, electricity, electricity flows only you know, in one direction between power and ground. So in this arrangement, there is always a positive source of voltage and ground. So very common uh, example that we can see though, right, is a battery positive and negative. Okay, so what is an alternating current? An alternating current, and actually the DC or the direct current, they are electric signals. So with, with AC, now the direction electricity flows throughout the circuit is reversing. So, kita ninyo dito, no, reversing, so the flow is from right and also to the left. So you may even say that this is an alternating direction, the word alternate, you know? but whereas in the direct current, it only flows in one direction. So the flow is for only one direction, not the current. For example, we have a circuit, this is always the bigger one is positive, no? So, okay. So there's an electricity that flows right here in only one direction. So, so let's talk about voltage. So this uh, voltage was actually named after Alessandro Volta. A force that makes free electrons to move a wire is voltage. Okay, now it is measured in volts. The voltage it can be seen as the pressure on the electrons to move out of the source. It is directly proportional to the pressure exerted on the electrons. So in other words, the higher the voltage, the higher the pressure. 
for example, a, va a battery of 3 volts will exert pressure in the electrons twice as hard as a battery of 1.5 volts. Okay? So, one is the mga terminologies, no? Another one is the resistance. Very common is the resistance. So, here in this picture, we can see resistors, which are electrical components. Now, resistance, they measure how well a material or object conducts electricity. So, low resistance means the object conducts electricity well. High resistance means the object does not conduct electricity well. So, the resistance is the opposition that a sub substance offers to the flow of electric current. Okay, here, so when the electric current flows through a conductor, it creates a heat because of resistance. So resistance is how tight the material is holding the electrons. So you may notice that a cord from an appliance feels warm, di ba? So sometimes we feel that now after a running, uh, after it runs for a long time, now that is the amperage flowing in the circuit. The more amps moving, the more heat produced, okay? So, the more amps moving, more heat is produced. That is why, muinit, no, umiinit siya. So, when a wire, yung cord, when a wire carries too many amps for its size, it becomes overloaded. So, and the insulation can melt and cause a fire or shock. You, uh, or it, it will shock you if you touch it. That's why it is important to have the correct wire size, okay? When is siya ang common, no? Causes, one of the most common causes where, why, why, why there is a fire, you know, because kana mga magbuto because of the wrong wire size, wrong uh, calculation of the resistance or resistors, and etc. So that is why this uh, the the course objective of this uh, this lecture is to teach you to solve for. Um, for some of the terminologies and the things that we need to solve in electrical circuits. So we also have conductors and insulators. Now conductors are materials that allow electricity to flow easily. Okay, so to flow the current easily, no? we need conductors. So most types of metal are good conductors. Very good conductor, good metal, that's why pag may electricity and you hold a metal, makurintihan ka. So, right? so most types of metals are good conductors, which is why we use metal for electrical wire. Copper is a good conductor and isn't too expensive. So that is why copper is used no, sa tanan or sa almost all of the wirings that we have in our house this day. So now the opposition for conductors are also what we call insulators because it's so uh dangerous night we don't have insulators to insulate the conductors because if there is only conductors without insulators like what we see that there's that, that there is the rubber insulation here because if we touch the conductor right so an insulator is a material that doesn't carry electricity insulators are important because they can protect us from electricity so example punyan is rubber plastic and paper so in your occupational health and safety na core, ay na, na occupational health and safety, um, we wear, that, that's why most of the time, we are asked to wear a rubber shoes, especially we are in a lab, because they are insulators. And kind of mga rubber na, uh, what do you call it? rubber mats, no? that we place in the desk before we, do our laboratory exercises. So you can see in our electrical engineering lab, no, naka rubber yung mga table doon. So let's go with the basic electrical components. Now we have resistors. Resistors often symbolizes zigzags like that, you can see there. And sometimes a rectangle. These are wires not connecting to other components. So a resistor is an electrical component that limits or regulates the flow of electricity current in electronic circuits. So resistors are so important class because um, it might um, it might damage the 
the electrical components without resistors. So for example, you are going to um, have a very high voltage and then um, isaksak lang or um, very high voltage and then like light bulb lang ang yung butangan o source. So, but, mo, mo buto dyan na siya. So, resistors are used for ito. It, in, it includes, or a few examples include the limit electric current, voltage division, heat generation, daro, matching and loading circuits, control gain, and fixed time constants. Now, the primary purpose is to limit the flow of electrical current. Ito talaga. Limit the flow of electrical current. So again, the symbols are very important because we will be using them later. We also have what we call the capacitors. Now, the capacitors are components which has the ability or capacity to store energy in the form of an electrical charge. So capacitors store energy. Okay, They produce a potential difference across its plates, much like a small rechargeable battery. So they, they're like a small battery, no? But it's, yeah, small rechargeable battery because, again, they store power or they store energy para pag, to, uh, to be able to uh, give energy to, to uh, some components. We also have what we call inductors. Inductors are passive electronic component that stores energy in the form of magnetic field. If you can see uh, videos like Kaning uh, coil, no, and then sa taas ng coil is a light bulb na nagalight siya. It's because they store energy in the form of magnetic field. So it, in simplest form, an inductor consists of a wire loop or coil. Okay, so in this lecture, we will be discussing about the basic circuit analysis of the series circuit. Also have the parallel circuit. And we also have the series parallel circuit. So, let's try to analyze. Okay, so si, Ohm's, si Ohm, that's why it's called Ohm's law, he stated that the current, see si George Simon Ohm, stated that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points. That is why, the formulation of the electric current is equal to voltage of a resistance has been uh, formulated. Okay, so here we can see the electric current, which is the I, the naga flow in inside the circuit. We also have the resistance and the voltage that supplies the circuit. So we have different 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 types of circuits. So here, the battery supplies the two light bulbs here. This is actually called the series circuit. Whereas in the next picture, as you can see, there is a source, which is the, the source for the two lights in an electrical bulb. So this is called the parallel circuit. Okay? So, yeah. Now, let's talk about the series circuit. A series circuit is, or it has only one path for the electric current or electricity to flow. You can see here, there is a battery. Okay? So, dalawang battery, binikit. And then, the flow of, uh, the flow of, what do you call this, electricity. Uh, the flow of electricity is only in a one path it's a series circuit so all the loads in a series circuit share the same current and if there is any break in the circuit the charges will stop flowing so isang break lang po dyan pak lahat tong light bulbs na ito will stop flowing whereas i don't know eh. so to solve for the the series circuit for the resistance the total resistance for the total voltage and for the total current we again have i is equal to v over r and for the resistance to get the total resistance is to add all the resistance and well for the voltage also add all the voltages and the current that is flowing in that cir current circuit is also the current flowing in 
uh, all ito, current here, current there, current there are all the same. So, in a series circuit, the current through each load is the same. Ano lang, no? And the total voltage across the circuit is the sum of the voltages across each load. And also the resistance is the sum. Resistance of R systems. So, here in the series circuit, uh, here in the example in the series circuit, if we are, if we are going to be asked you know, to find total resistance, To find the total resistance of the circuit, we're just going to add all the to uh, all the resistance dito. So the R equivalent, or the total resistance, total, is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, that is 3 plus 3 plus 3 ohms, with a total of 9 ohms. Okay, now we have the voltage. So again, I is equal to V over R, where our V is our um, is our nine volts. No, so therefore, nine volts divided by nine amps is just equivalent to one ampere. Nine volts over nine ohms. Our voltage over ohms is 1 ampere. Total resistance is 9 and the electric current is 1 amp. So therefore, the current flowing here in this circuit is 1 amp. Okay. Let's talk about parallel circuit. So parallel circuit now is there is more than one path for the electric current or electricity to flow. So here we have a source and um, the, the, the two, kanisha, this one and this one, is parallel to each other. But two components are parallel to each other. So in parallel circuit, the electric current branches so that the electrons flow through each of the paths. So if one path is broken, electrons continue to flow, flow to the other paths. For example, if electrons or the path is broken only here, this the it will still flow no, to other paths right there. So that's why in parallel circuit, it's a closed circuit with uh, in which the current divides into two or more paths before recombining to complete a circuit. Now each load connected in a separate path, receives the full circuit voltage. So each load daw, na connected sa, sa, sa lahat ng each path, same lang, or they, they uh, receive the full circuit voltage. And the total circuit current is just equivalent to the total or to the sum of the individual branch currents. So lahat ng voltage in each path is equal, but the current is we add lahat no, to get the total. And the R equivalent is just equivalent to 1 over 1 plus R1 plus 1 plus R2 plus 1 plus R3 plus 1 over R dot 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 or Rn to get the total resistance. So again, using Ohm's law, still I is equal to V over R. Example, find the total current or find the total resistance of this electrical circuit. Okay, to find the total resistance, once again, class is equal to, kasi po, lahat po yan nakaparallel, so gagawin natin is 1 over 1 over 1, 1 kilo ohms pala yan, no? So, plus 1 over 3 kilo ohms plus 1 over 2 kilo ohms. Okay. So therefore, if you're going to use the calculator to get the resistance, that is 1 over 1 plus 1 third plus 1 half. Okay, so therefore, ito siya, you'll have a total of 6 over 11 milli, ah, sorry, the resistance, right? 
so that's kilo ohms so that's milli amps i sorry kilo ohms pala to resistance so one divided by or one plus one third plus one half one divided that is six over eleven okay so we already have the resistance we already have the voltage that flows and the voltage that supplies the circuit no then we can find the current flowing in the parallel circuit so the current class the current that flows current that flows in each resistance no ay makukuha natin so current kay r1 current kay r2 and current kay r3 okay so with uh Getting I is equal to V over R. Since nakuha na po natin yung um, total resistance, you can just get 6 volts divided by 6 over 11 kilo ohms. That is milliampers. The current is in milliamps. So 6 divided by 6 over 11, that is 11 milliamps. Okay? Okay, or or if you want no, na, uh, to know the current flowing in each resistance, so you just still no know the current. Kung an, uh, gusto mong malaman yung current dito is I1, dito is I2, dito naman po is I3. So if you want to know the current in each resistance, in each path, so just st do still the same. No, we can still get the same answer. So, dito po, yung voltage is equal po lahat ng path. So, that's 6 volts divided by the resistance, which is 1 kilo ohms. So, therefore, that is 6 milliamps. And dito naman po is 6 divided by 3 kilo ohms. That is 2 milliamps. And dito, I is equal to 6 volts divided by 2 kilo ohms. That is 3 milliamps. Amps. Add all the resistance or the current, you will get the total, which is 11 milliamperes, in which nakuha din natin dito sa dito. Because sometimes we, are, we will be asked no, to find the current flow in R1. So that's why it's important to uh, know, to solve no, still the current flow in each path. Okay? Now, sir, what if, sir, binigkit, uh, I mean, binugtong po natin yung series tsaka parallel circuit. So, si series po and tsaka si parallel circuit is actually the combination lang. Okay? Obviously, no? It's the combination of the series and parallel circuits. Now, to get the total resistance of the series circuit, in this figure lang ha, in this figure, we just need to add itong R1 and R2 plus ito namang si R3 tsaka si R4 since they are in a parallel circuit, so we just need to do this. Okay? Okay, depending on the uh, circuit, dun po natin malalaman what the formula or to get the total resistance is. So dito, the total voltage is to add all the voltages V1 plus V2 plus the voltages across R3 and R4, the V3 and V4. And still, the total current is just the V over the total resistance. Let's say, for example, we have this figure. You can see that this is a combination of a series parallel, series parallel combination circuit. Okay, 
So first class, since you can see that this circuit is in a parallel circuit, now obviously we need to get the uh, we we need to get the parallel muna nito, the total resistance of the parallel the parallel path. So to get that, uh, let's name this one R five and this is R six. So for R five natin is equal to one over one over one hundred plus one over two hundred fifty ohms. So our R five is. Five hundred over seven amps. Okay, whereas our R six is one over one over three fifty plus one over two hundred that is. 1,400 over 11. Sorry, this is actually ohms, but amps. Ohms. Okay? So, i-add po natin yung dalawa. 1,400 over 11 plus 500 over 7 to get the total resistance. So, the R total, since pag rewrite po natin ito na circuit, magiging ganito na siya. So, we already have R5 here, which is 500 over 7 ohms, and then, see, oh, sorry, si R6 natin is naging 1,400 over 11 ohms. Okay, so you can see naging series na po sila. So to get this, uh, to get total resistance, we need to add R5 and R6, we get 198.701 2987 ohms and that is the total resistance and to get the current that's i is equal to the voltage which is 24 over the total rt or rt so your i is equal to 0 0.12078 ampere and that is your current Okay, let's try another example. I will uh, give you another one. Mm. Wait lang. Say this is 22 volts, all right? This is 2 ohms, this is 3 ohms, this is 4 ohms, and this is 2 ohms. Ayan muna. Okay, so find, say for example, find the total resistance. Ano yan si Kirchhoff's law class. So I have another example muna. So to find the total resistance of this class, again, so because of, oops, sorry, okay, to find the total resistance of that is, uh, unahin muna natin tong dalawang to since nakaparallel siya, no? So, Step one. So find so gawin mo natin tong parallel tong dalawa, no? So that is uh, R one. Pangalan nato siya R one. One over since parallel siya one third plus one fourth. So this is 
12 over 7. So therefore, if we redraw that, magiging 6 naging parallel siya, no? Ito siya, magiging 12 over 7 ohms, and ito magiging 2 ohms, and ito magiging 2 ohms din. Tama? So, since naka-series po ito siya, i-add natin at we will name it as resistance 2. So, 12 over 7 plus 2 ohms is equal to 26 over 7 ohms. Okay? So, si step Naging ganito si step 2. Okay? So this is now 26 over 7 ohms. And ito po siya is 2 ohms. Okay? And the step 3 naman po is since nakaparallel siya. So magiging the R total, gawin natin RP na lang, 1 over 1 half plus 1 over 26 over 7 or that 7 over 26 na lang po. So that is 1 over 1 half plus 7 over 26. That's 13 over 10 ohms or 1.3 ohms is our total na resistance. And that is your final answer. Okay? So, uh, yan po yung um, series parallel circuit. Okay? And to find naman po yung, uh, yung current, I is equal to V over R. So, magiging I, or the current, is equal to 22 volts over 1.3 ohms. Magiging 22 divided by 1.3 so that is 16.92307692 ampere and that is our current but since the, the question is to find or the, to only find the total resistance this is your final answer okay so let's talk about the Kirchhoff's voltage law so the Kirchhoff's voltage law, according to or the based upon the law of conservation of energy, the, the algebraic sum of all the voltages trapped across components around a loop is zero. So, lahat po ng, for example, um, so for example, isang loop, isang resistance. Okay, so 24 volts is 3 ohms. So, lahat po ng dadaan na um, sige, wait lang, ulit, ulit. Another example. Okay. So, okay, this is R1, this is R2, this is R3. For example, this is 12 volts. Pagdaan niya kay resistance 1, may voltage drop. Kasi nga po, si resistance, kukuha ng voltage. May voltage drop din kay resistance 2, may voltage drop kay resistance 3. So pagdating niya dito, pag loop niya, yung voltage magiging 0. So, the summation of all the voltages, uh, of all the, uh, ang tawag dito? Yeah. The summation from M is equal to 1 to M, for example, ang sanang M biha, resistor, the voltage is equal to 0. Okay. So let's try to analyze this circuit using Kirchhoff's law. So, uh, Kirchhoff's law class, ang atong pangita on the re is the, vote, uh, the 
voltage drop and the current in each of the uh, in each of the resistance here. So current flowing here, current flowing dito, and current flowing dito. And according to Kirchhoff's, lahat ng, so let's name this vivid, voltages na dadaan magiging zero. Okay? So, since this is negative to positive class, so positive natin si VB. So positive VB, ito, minus, kasi may voltage sub eh. So ma minus natin sa madadaan dito sa R1. Minus V1. Minus the voltages that will come to V2. And voltage that will come to V3. Again, that is zero. Okay? So VB natin is 12 volts minus according to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, mga pinaka-importante. So ang I nato is not known, so that's I. And our resistance is 8, 8 I1. Minus V is equal to IR, similar lang po I, kasi all, this is a series circuit, right? Series circuit siya, so lahat ng current na papasok is similar according to this here in this series circuit. So, lahat ng current pare-pareha lang. So, di na nato siya need pangalag I1, I2, I3 kasi pare-pareha lang ang same currents ang dadaan. So, I ng Japan. And then, the resistance is 10. Minus sa voltage 3, IR, so I, times that is the, the resistance which is 12 is equal to 0. So, therefore, 12 volts is equal to 8 plus 10 plus 12, so 12 volts is equal to 30i, or 30, naman na ohms class, right? So i is equal to volts over ohms, that's 30, 12 over 30, or 0 0.4 amps. Okay, so, ayan po yung uh, total current according to Kirchhoff's law. So, let's try solving it. Uh, I is equal to V over R. So, 12 over the total resistance. No? Total resistance is 10 plus 8 plus 12. That's 12 over 30, still 0 0.4 amps, right? So this is according to Kirchhoff's law, no? his analysis with the circuit. Okay? So let's find the voltage drop across each resistance. So again, D2 class, my 12 volts na dumaan, 12 volts. However, from this node to this node, Ibang usapan na yan. So to find that, meron tayong um, current na 0 0.4. So if we are going to look for the voltage drop, so V is equal to IR. So V1 is equal to IR. So V1 po natin is 0 0.4 times 8, which is our resistance 1. So that's 8 times 0 0.4. So, 3.2 uh, volts yung, yung dumaan dito sa V1. Dito. So, yung nagamit yung 3.2 volts. So, therefore, yung natitira na lang dito from this node to this node is 12 minus 3.2. So, 8.8 .8 volts na lang ang isusupply from this to this na loop. Ano, no, in, in the counterclockwise direction. So, ang voltage drop naman po ni V2 is 0 0.4 times ilan? R2 which is 10. So, this is actually 4 volts. No? So, 4 volts ang voltage drop dito. So, since 8.8 .8 na lang yung yung uh, from node B to node C, 
So, 8.8 na lang, no? Minus 4. So, magiging 4.8 na lang dito kay C. Papunta dito. So, dapat from this point to this point, 0 volt na lang. Kasi according to Kirchhoff's summation of uh, lahat ng voltages na dumaan sa isang loop is equal to 0. So, kay voltage 3 class is equal to, let's prove that he is correct. So, 0 0.4 times our resistance nga is 12. Magiging, obviously, that's 4.8. So, from this node, from C to D, 4.8 minus 4.8 is 0 volts. So, tama po yung theory niya. And if we add all of this, that's 3.2 plus 4.8 plus 4, that is equal to 12 volts, which is the total number of voltage in that. Uh, electricity or electrical or the electric component in the circuit rather so this is it for our uh, discussion for the basic electrical circuits i hope it will be well equipped with our laboratory in our next class schedule so thank you for listening have a good day